Hello, welcome to Einstein Mechanics once again. Today we are going to look at integration in a different form. So the form is integral of a function of x multiplying the derivative of that same function. In the previous episode, we saw integral of a derivative over the original function. So here, what if the function is multiplying its derivative? So we know that the function tan of x has a derivative to be 6 square x. And we know that when we have sine x, the derivative is going to be what? Cos x. The same way we saw that the derivative of ln x is also going to be 1 on x. Are we good? So in a situation where you are to integrate the product of the function and its derivative, there is also a special way of what? Doing it. For example, the integral of tan x multiplying 6 square x. The function is the tan x. Its derivative is the 6. Sec x square. Are we good? Or 6 square x dx. If we have integral of sine x multiplying its derivative cos x dx how do we integrate then again integral of ln x over x dx all these are special cases of what integration so once again when you are given an integral question you have to check which form does it fall? So this is the second case where we are going to discuss. Are we good? A function. So this means integral of a function f of x multiplying its derivative f prime of x with respect to what? X. How do we go by that? So first of all, let's solve some examples and see how we can do this. I can say integral of 1 integral of sine x cos x dx if you are asked to integrate this sine x cos x dx so first what is f of x so f of x and what is f prime of x among these which one is the derivative of the other we know that yes if you differentiate cos x you are going to get sine x but that will be a negative for sine x so looking at this function when you differentiate sine x you are directly going to get your what cos x so meaning the original function should be sine x then the derivative will be cos x are we good so meaning this question falls within the range f of x f prime of what x we can apply the rule let's see so first integral of sine x cos x dx you let your u another substitution let your u always be equal to the original function where you can differentiate to get the other so here if i differentiate the sign i'm getting a direct cos so my u is going to be what sine x so I have to introduce a u, the u with respect to x is going to be what? Cos x. Therefore, my dx is the u on cos x. This function now will be equal to integral. Sine is now u. I have cos x. Dx is now the u cos x. This course can take care of this course, leaving integral of u du, which is going to give me 1 on 2 u square plus c. But I said let the u be equal to what? Sine x, which is going to give me half of u sine x square plus c. And it is the same as... 1 on 2 sine square x plus c. Are we okay? So this is the 
integral of a function multiplying its derivative that's sine x cos x dx so we can take another function integral of tan x sec square x dx now we can see that when we differentiate the tan x we are going to get the sec square x so i will let my u equal to that tan x differentiate u with respect to x and i'm going to get back the sec square what x therefore dx will still be the u on sec square x you bring it back into the equation you are getting integral u which is tan x multiplying sec square x and i have du on sec square x this can now take care of that and i'll be left with integral u du which is one on two u square du and when we further solve this it is going to be half i will now bring my tan x square plus what plus c so i have my plus c over there and i can work in it are we okay so this can be one on two tan square x plus c this is the integral of the function tan x multiplying its derivative are we okay so let's look at this function integral of ln x on x dx what do we see can we see a function with its derivative yes so this can be written in the form integral ln x multiplying 1 on x dx but if you differentiate ln x you are going to get what 1 over x so therefore it obeys the rule we can do it my u is now going to be ln of what x and with that the u dx is 1 on x where my dx is now x du i'll bring it back into the equation integral of ln x which is u now multiplying 1 on x dx is x du this x will take care of that giving me integral of still u du and that is going to be 1 on 2 u square plus c and it is going to be half of my u is ln x ln x square plus c um this is not going to be ln square x or something like that this is going to be ln x or what square and this is the integral of the function okay we have also this function integral of sine inverse of x on the root of 1 minus x square dx do we see something here yes when we have sine inverse of x its derivative is going to give us 1 on root 1 minus x square take note of this same way if we have cos inverse of x its derivatives is going to be negative 1 on root of 1 minus x square so meaning if we differentiate the sine square we are getting that are we good so we can apply the rule here as this is the same as integral of sine inverse of x multiplying its derivative 1 on root of 1 on x square dx so let my u be sine inverse of x 
so that I can differentiate to get the derivative. Let your u be sine inverse of x such that your du dx is going to be 1 on root of 1 minus x squared. Are we good? So we can try and work to get that. So I have to clean some parts or take everything off. I can move to a different page by I wish we see what is here. Are we good? So now I have this. Once you have this, everything is what? Done. And you can get it so easily. So this I can further say this will be half the u, which is sine inverse. Are we okay? So u is sine inverse, and that is going to be sine inverse of x all square plus c. And this will be the integral. Of this function so always check out if it obeys the principle f of x multiplying its derivative dx and that's the way we go by so we've now tackled this we now know how to go by f prime of x over its original function thank you for watching this episode